are you, as a child, are you aware of the whole, the big hoo-ha about banning fox hunting and all the stuff in the news and all of that? I don't watch the news. It's too boring. But does it bother you that you, you may end up killing a fox today? I'm just asking you, I'm not saying it should. We always, we always kill a fox. Does it bother you that you in the fox? Does that bother you? No, because it's only one in three times that we do get one, so... Okay. And what do you enjoy about it? What do you enjoy about fox hunting? Is it riding the horses? Yeah. Just like going through fields and... <laughs> There, now you know what to do now. Put the throat yeah. lash on. Sugar, what's wrong with your eye, darling? It, it is what keeps our countryside going, the hunt. The various hunts. You know, they look after the hedges, they look after the, the, all the other wildlife within the, um, the covers, the woods. They're, they're just fantastic people and they make it their life's work to care for the hounds, to care for the animals, the horses, and, you know, ultimately, they do look after the foxes as well by, by taking the weak out and the diseased ones because you're not going to catch a really, really fit fox. You're not. Yes, I do have an opinion on the ban. Um, I think it's an extremely illiberal piece of legislation. Um, first of all, I think that... Uh, the main purpose for the ban is not actually to stop people uh, killing foxes. It's to um, satisfy the uh, backbench Labour MPs that this government still has some socialist credentials. Well, I, I think it's motivated by prejudices of MPs. I don't think it. I think the majority of people don't really care. I don't really think it's something that the majority of people feel strongly about. Certainly, if they do, they're being misinformed. I think that it will change definitely because the majority of people will not want to break the law so that's the answer to your question having said that i also think that they all love their horses and the countryside and the social activity that goes on around hunting so much that some form of gathering will continue banned on well yesterday Thursday no yesterday and um we're going to go hunting today and we're going to see what happens see hmm. if the police are going to like Spit. try and stop it but yesterday on the news they said they weren't they've got more better things to do than try yeah. and stop fox hunting so hopefully we'll keep hunting it's basically how my pony does get exercise 
he's no do exercising during the week, but Tintin loves hunting and so do I. And it's like basically the joy of the day because there's nothing else to really do in the day apart from watch TV or something. And that's boring. Misty, and what's your pony called? Tintin. Uh, it's a boring one for today. No, it's mine. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Bye. People who go hunting are families. They're normal working people. People who live in the countryside, have their being in the countryside, understand animals, work with animals all their lives. We all work with animals, we're animal lovers, and we know how to control that. What we're up against now is this daft idea that people are getting pleasure out of killing something. Nonsense. It doesn't come into it. It's management of wildlife. Nature, to some degree, is cruel. Something feeds off something else all the time. Because we live that world, we are used to it. Are you, gonna, are you willing to break the law? My intention is to stay within the law. From time to time, the law will get broken, inadvertently perhaps, because hounds have been bred for 300 years to hunt nothing but the fox. And it is inevitable that whilst we're trail hunting, a fox will jump up and they'll change onto it because that's what they've been inherently bred to do for the last 300 years. Many of you here today, I never thought that this or any garden would actually ever get around to burning hunting. I therefore owe all of you an apology. As a parliamentarian, within the belief in our system of government we have here in Britain, I could not believe that any government, fair chosen and elected by the British people, would be arrogant enough, stupid enough, dishonest enough, and cruel enough to implement a bad order. Well, they're doing their best to entertain us. It's hard because these are these are foxhounds who, you know, are trained for one thing, and they're being asked to do something quite different. Um, so it's a bit of a struggle, but we're all just basically being as patient as we can be under the circumstances. This is not what we want to be doing. You're going to be doing something, possibly going to be doing something illegal today, and you're mm. 11 years old. Well, it's Blair's fault, so he's made this happen, so he's going to have to get himself out of it. He's, like, told us that we can't hunt, but we're going to hunt, and that's the way it's going to be. And so, if he wants to stop it, he's going to have to do a lot about it, because we're not giving up that easily. <laughs> 